Let me make it absolutely clear. Jeremy Corbyn is not resigning. He's staying on. We've come to a rally in support of Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of the UK's Labour Party. Right now he's facing a revolt by some members of his party because they say that he didn't do a good enough job of promoting the Remain campaign in the recent EU referendum, which resulted in the United Kingdom voting to leave the Union. Our Labour movement was founded on the most immense struggle, those that laid down their lives in the 18th and 19th century. It's the spirit of hope or the spirit of despair. Which are we? We're obviously hope, not despair. 75% of younger voters voted to remain in the European Union, but they lost. The ironic thing is that those are the same voters who propelled Jeremy Corbyn into the Labour leadership nine months ago. How did you guys vote? If, remain, yeah. And you don't feel like Corbyn let you down by not being more vocally in support of the European Union? campaign was so loud and so like, so militant yeah. the Remain campaign so, fell behind, fell behind. But, I'm not, but that's not, not Corbyn's, fault. Corbyn's fault no no because you yourself said that he's Eurosceptic yes but <laughs> I believe he was Eurosceptic I don't believe he is Eurosceptic now I got it okay Do you feel like he may have let young people down at all? Um, personally, no, because I voted leave. Um, I'm a proud communist. I think the EU is a Thatcherite policy. Its prime purpose is to facilitate trade between capitalist countries, which means exploiting the workers of those countries. Do you think that in reality he is a Eurosceptic and didn't support the Remain campaign? I think being in the position that he is in, he probably did want the country to remain. I don't think he wanted really to, for the European Union to exist as it is at the same time, which puts him in a very fishy grey area. For a man who's meant to be fronting the Remain campaign, he sent some pretty mixed signals. Just a couple weeks before the referendum, he was quizzed on the Channel 4 show The Last Leg about his commitment to the Remain campaign. How passionate are you about staying in the EU? Oh, I'd put myself in the upper half of the five to ten, so we're looking at seven, seven and a half. Ooh, not quite. Maybe seven. But there's more evidence that Corbyn was a reluctant Remain campaigner. This is a conversation between one of Corbyn's key aides, Kat Fletcher, and the chairman of Labour's Remain campaign, Alan Johnson. It was recorded by Vice News while filming a documentary about Jeremy Corbyn, but wasn't included in the original film. We took the video to a member of Corbyn's own party who was familiar with the inner workings of the Labour In campaign to ask him to put the video into context for us. He's one of the many members of the Labour revolt against Corbyn. They'd set the camera down while they were waiting to be let into this room. And there's subtitles, because the sound is really bad. So I spoke to, um, I got into uh, and he is up for a mass high energy, high volume pro campaign, which I have for as well. Um, so I actually think it's worth having a conversation. I think it could be helpful making that happen, the journey at the heart of it, is what I mean. You can make it happen with Jeremy. Hmm? You can make it happen with Jeremy. Well, I need to. Beyond me. Oh, I yeah, I can. Yeah. I can do. I can. Do, I, I just like you a lot. <laughs> yeah, I am doing my best, but I need help, right? Yeah. Like, you will have all your help. <laughs> what do you think that conversation was about? Uh, well, it seems to be about the difficulties of getting John McDonnell and um, Jeremy Corbyn aligned and signed up fully to a fully engaged pro-EU campaign. The interesting thing is the silences in a way. It's the moments when somebody's if, sort of trying to say, look, it's going to be really difficult because I'm not sure I'll be able to get him signed up to this. But I think if you were to write bubbles above people's heads, they'd be saying, I don't think Jeremy really supports this from my own experience. I mean, I know that it was often a kind of daily battle 
to try and get anybody to either of them to appear on the Labour bus or to um, you know agree a speech or um, I mean it, it was just really hard work. Why would it be so hard if Labour was for Remain? Why wouldn't Labour's leader want to take more of a part in the Remain campaign? It's a mystery to me. I mean, I think it's a bit of a betrayal, really, of the Labour Party, because in particular, as we know, three quarters of young people voted for Remain. Um, and that, in the end, was a betrayal of all those young people who voted for Jeremy and wanted us to stay in the European Union. We contacted Jeremy Corbyn's office to obtain their comment on the Vice News video. They provided us with this statement. Jeremy Corbyn led the Labour in campaign calling for Remain and reform. It was Jeremy Corbyn's campaign clearly laying out a case for reform of the EU that resonated with Labour voters who voted for Remain by a ratio of two to one. The EU referendum has already forced the UK Prime Minister to promise to resign and Corbyn is now under immense pressure to step down too. It's unlikely that Brexit has claimed its last victim.